Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And I think we deserve a bit of a drum roll for this announcement, actually. Coming via the Guardian newspaper, we've reacted to this story already in the past. But Kashif Mahmood is the first UK police officer to be found guilty in an Encro chat case. Some people have described this as the real line of duty. The Guardian newspaper has reported today and said that the Met police officer has stood trial for stealing drugs and fake police raids. And they say that he was in direct communication with a mastermind in Dubai and using real police cars to execute the robberies. They say that he wore his uniform to take part in heists that were staged by organised crime gangs and rival drug gangs to fund his lavish lifestyle that involved Rolex watches and trips to Dubai. PC Kashif Mahmood used his uniform and patrol car to stage the robberies on London streets. The gang's activities being directed by brothers in Dubai and they used EncroChat to relay orders and this was the only reason why the details fully emerged. Mahmood, 31 years old, appeared in court on Wednesday as sentencing began. He already pled guilty to conspiracy to acquire criminal property and misconduct in public office and has already been dismissed from the Met. He took a cut of the money from the organised crime gang who stole from their rivals and was only discovered when police broke into the EncroChat communication network in 2020. For your cooperation, let's go. I want to see that warrant. What? I want to see that goddamn warrant. When in actual fact, the police didn't break into EncroChat, the French police broke into EncroChat and they sent malware to intercept British criminals and their messages. In one of the heists, Mahmoud and the gang, one of them from Romania, posed as a police officer and stole £850,000. Southwark Crown Court heard the organised crime gang recruited the police officer who flew around with fellow criminals to Dubai to have summits and meetings about their crimes. The prosecution, Peter Ratcliffe, said as and when needed by the organised group, Kashif would take marked and unmarked police vehicles and dressed in police uniform and travel to locations where the group were engaged or about to steal large amounts of cash. Mahmood would then seize the money posing as a police officer and one of them was on the 8th of March 2020. Two incidents where at least attempts were made to seize big amounts of cash and one attempt to seize 500 grand in cash. They have also revealed that he was based at Stoke Newington Police Station that has had a bad reputation in the past. And he also had access to police computers and used it to gain intelligence for drug gangs. The evidence gained from law enforcement backing of EncroChat showed the Met officer went to Dubai to meet other members and even flew on the same flight as them on one occasion. Notebooks recovered from Mahmoud's locker showed that he'd researched sensitive information from the police data systems. And some of these were the names of people that were trying to rob. And he also had £35,000 in a bank account that was linked to him, as well as various luxury watches. Mahmoud had been awarded in the past for his bravery, but in 2018 he was convicted of assaulting a member of the public while on duty, but he was allowed to stay on as a police officer. They say the gang he worked for was based in East London, and there was twins Shabazz and Shazad, and his older brother, Machine. All three admitted supplying Class A drugs and conspiracy to acquire criminal property. Ratliff told the gang that they ran a highly lucrative business in Class A and B drugs and the investigation into Machine Khan and his brothers Shazad and Shabazz found out they was engaged in wholesale movements of Class A drugs and were laundering thousands of pounds. The sentencing for the former police officer continues and EncroChat was the sole reason why this police officer has been found out and he's actually the only police officer in the UK that has been discovered so far and there was a minimum of 10,000 users in the UK using EncroChat data so this is definitely a first in relation to a police officer being convicted for involvement in EncroChat crimes but some would say this shouldn't be the last and we'll definitely keep you updated and there's a lot of Encro news to come in the next couple of days in this other story, a bit closer to Birmingham on the outskirts in Sally Hall, has seen two men jailed for their use of EncroChat phones to sell nearly a million pounds worth of cocaine.
In and around Birmingham and the West Midlands, they say they were selling in wholesale and supplied nearly £700,000 worth of drugs in a few weeks and they've been jailed after the police intercepted their communications on EncroChat. Kieran Melody and Josh Ball were selling drugs openly on EncroChat. The pair discussed large shipments of drugs supplying across the West Midlands and even further and they planned to launder their ill-gotten gains through businesses and property. The pair were travelling to Sully Hall from London in a van with a 4 kilogram consignment of cocaine when they were stopped by officers last July. Melody aged 29 and 24 year old Boar, they believed they could message on EncroChat as it was encrypted and couldn't be touched by the police. But they didn't realise that the law enforcement agencies in France had already hacked the platform and were infiltrating messages at this time. The data was processed by the National Crime Agency and evidence sent to investigation units across the country. Their EncroChat names were Vanilla Park and Juice Agents and they were attributed to Melody and Boar. And we're going to discuss in another video later exactly how the police figured out where you was and who used which device. They also received support from the West Midlands Regional Organised Crime Unit as well. Detective Constable Alex Gascoigne from Roku said it meant we were able to access all of the messages about drug dealing between each other and fellow EncroChat users from the end of March 2020. In one chat on March the 27th, they discussed the possibility of accessing 60 kilos of cocaine from a contact at 38 grand a kilo and they said they'd make a thousand pound a kilo profit. The following day, the pair spoke about how busy they was to each other and that they'd had two new customers that were taking two kilograms a week from one of them. And on March the 31st, they found chats about a drug deal in Cardiff and how Melody reminded Boar to wear gloves and use a hidden compartment in the vehicle that they were transporting it in. There was a lot of detailed evidence about their criminal activities and pictures of the drugs as well and both had little option but to admit their guilt. The pair were arrested in October and charged with supplying drugs and while on court bail, Roku received evidence from the European law enforcement and West Midlands police arrested the pair again in February. Officers found a Rolex watch under Melody's pillow and a search of his home in Sonny Hall found six and a half grand in cash. In an interview, he admitted being Vanilla Park and supplying drugs, but denied money laundering, saying the money he used to buy properties was generated from his business and an inheritance. Boar was from Acox Green and he refused to answer any questions about EncroChat, but later admitted his role in the supply chain. Both of them appeared at Birmingham Crown Court on Wednesday the May the 12th and they were jailed for 10 years and 8 months and 6 years and 8 months respectively after admitting the supply of drugs from March the 26th to May the 4th, 2020. West Midlands Police Roku Detective Chief Superintendent Richard Baker said intelligence received from Operation Venetti, that was the division of the hack of EncroChat, has taken drugs and guns off the street. They say they focused on those they believe to be involved in the highest levels and the wealth of intelligence means investigations will be continuing into organised crime groups for many years. So these sentences are coming thick and fast. But later on today, we're going to discuss how some of this evidence and intelligence may be in jeopardy. So please don't forget to join us again later on today. Turn on your bell for notifications and subscribe as well. Check out our Encro Chat playlist to get up to date with all the latest. And please don't forget to follow us online as well at Scar City Studios. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.